This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. New World Order plans to assassinate Donald Trump revealed. New World Order watchers believe Donald Trump is right to fear he will be the first president since John F. Kennedy to be assassinated due to his anti-establishment views. Despite the best efforts of the establishment, mainstream media, Wall Street, Hollywood and the global elite, an outsider won the presidential election. Now mainstream media are at war with President-elect Trump, feeding dangerous rhetoric to the people and encouraging rioters and protesters. CNN's Don Lemon, while talking about Trump's transition, just showed footage of the Reagan assassination attempt for about 20 seconds for no apparent reason. As the footage rolls, Lemon can be heard saying he is not the president, he is not the president. Are CNN trying to plant ideas in the public mind to provoke an attempt? Trump has been speaking to world leaders and appointing key members of his cabinet this week, while the death threats against him became louder and more insistent. The New World Order controlled evil in Washington does not only kill foreign leaders who try to disrupt their master plan, they also kill their own. JFK warned that secret societies were running the world and there was a plan to enslave every American man, woman, and child. This was enough to get the popular president killed. Trump became the president-elect despite the best efforts of the establishment, and there is still a war raging inside the Republican Party. Some members of Congress are saying they will back him. However most senators and senior party members are having serious jitters about Trump and are refusing to rally around him. Neither side of the political establishment want Trump anywhere near the White House. The mainstream media are vilifying him. In short, the sock puppets of the New World Order are united against him. They have a lot to lose when somebody who isn't playing by their rules takes control. The CEO and president of Packets Lead, Michael Harrigan, was recently fired after posting death threats against President-elect Trump on social media, and mainstream journalist Monisha Rajesh was similarly punished after endorsing a presidential assassination on Twitter. Despite the best efforts of the New World Order, an outsider to won the election, Trump managed to overcome their best efforts against him. As the dangerous rhetoric being pushed by mainstream media continues to escalate, and frenzied protesters continuing baying for blood, how long will it be before threats become actions and Trump is targeted? Do not be surprised if this happens, and soon, with a Muslim or possibly Mexican assassin lined up as a convenient scapegoat for another New World Order political assassination in America. JFK's assassination sent shockwaves through an unsuspecting American society that are still being felt today. But would a presidential assassination pan out the same way today? Would the people stand for having a popular president taken out by the shady elite again? This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.